Oh, so I, I said to myself before this video went live, I don't know how many more of these I can do. It's got to break at least 3,000. That, that's got to be at least what my effort can accomplish. It's uh, still a little better than that. <laughs> Sincerely, this has meant the world. Uh, truly, thank you. And an extra thank you to the channel who got impatient and made their own designing for Intimidation on Super Punch-Out. Really good effort there. We'll get to it eventually, when I'm not trash at the game, the, the, the stage select really helps. But, but I know about Donkey Kong! Yeah. I could do him, so here's that one. Thank you. Start it. You've done it. You've stared down faces old and new in the ring, seen the new tricks they offered, and endured an onslaught of fists to reach the top. And when they came back for the crown, facing you at their absolute best, learning from their mistakes and making you adapt all over again, you didn't flinch. You overcame. You proved that the title around your waist deserved its home there. No matter how many times you fell to the mat, you lifted yourself right back up, labbed out how to beat your foe, threw yourself against the grindstone, and became the sharpest, swiftest, and most fearless champion you could possibly be. Oh, that belt looks good on you, son. Punch-Out! We had even more curveballs for you than old Iron Mike offered two decades earlier. But your boy from the Bronx has a knack for knocking them out of the park once he's swung enough times. But in your success, Punch-Out decides to toss one last pitch. And it's the most horrifying one yet. You beat it once. Now do it consistently. You really sure? Three losses and you call it quits? All right, then. Let's go out on top, kid. It's time to take your place in history. Max Last Stand is the perfect reward and ultimate test for the boxer who's conquered everything. A randomized gauntlet of infinite opponents with only a single catch. Three losses and you're done. Forever. Ugh. You can never replay this mode again unless you completely restart your save file. Real athletes don't get to call it a comeback after hitting their peak, after all. This is your time to prove your mettle. How you compare against not just the WVBA's best, but every other Punch-Out! player in the world. How truly great of a champion history will remember you as. The tension is ramped up for every single match. Not only can you get tripped up by the more difficult title defense timings on any boxer, now they can HURT you! <laughs> In an act of cruelty not seen since Super Macho Man could send you back to Mr. Sandman in the days of old, every single loss ensures you're that much closer to retirement. And as you're not sure of your opponent until you're already in the ring with them, you've got to know every matchup like the back of your hand and call upon it at a moment's notice to even stand a chance. So imagine your surprise when prepping to face off against your rogues gallery again, this happens. Donkey Kong. Only available as a random opponent in Max Last Stand, Donkey Kong himself bursts onto the scene to put up his dukes against the unlikely champion. <laughs> he's seen your matches, he's followed your career, and now he's finally here, performing for you. Let's keep it clean. <laughs> and performance is the best way to describe DK's fighting style. 
Donkey Kong doesn't fight like a regular boxer, as you could probably assume from the whole being a thrilla gorilla thing. <laughs> well, you've been looking for jabs, hooks, and uppercuts all game? Donkey Kong is glad to litter his moveset with hammer fists from above, backhand chops, full body slams, and... This is already plenty unorthodox, but to add on to it, unlike a lot of Max opponents who limit their combinations to steady strings, after DK gets knocked down once, he is glad to combine these moves together into a freestyle jam session. Any of DK's attacks can combo right into any of DK's other attacks, until he finally feels bored of assaulting you forcing Mac to improvise through a constant gauntlet of tricky timing to avoid getting mauled. And he can even delay the timing on this hammer fist, the prick. <laughs> it's not a matter of when Donkey Kong is gonna crush your dreams, it's how stylishly he's gonna do it. And everything about him is made to make you feel as helpless as possible. <laughs> Donkey Kong is taking this career-defining moment from you and treating it as a joke. Playing around, blowing kisses, getting down with his bad self in the middle of a boxing match. Cause he doesn't care about how high the stakes and tension are for ya. He is gonna mock you into making a monkey of yourself in one of the most important fights of Mac's career. <laughs> he doesn't care about the title. He won't even take it from you if he wins. He'll just take you instead. Donkey Kong eats away at a player's anxiety by provoking them, throwing them off their rhythm, and slamming them with a furious offense that they feel like they can dodge, but it's just not working. <laughs> DK is a lesson in humility, hubris for your so-thought mastery of the game and by far the cheekiest opponent you're ever gonna face. <laughs> but you've taken the worst the WVBA has dished out twice over. What's one more giant to slay? Show him what you got, Mike, baby. <laughs> Donkey Kong may be a brawny braggadocious baboon, but he's still a blundering buffoon with all of his grandstanding. Every single one of DK's many, many taunts can be cut off right before the end for a free star, and most of them leave him open for a well-placed star uppercut. While Donkey Kong has plenty of devastating strikes, he's not at all a professional boxer, lacking the dedicated guard of some of your toughest foes, and his punches being a bit slower and weaker than the Papinskis, Macho Men, and Sandman you've run through to share the ring with the Big Ape. Oh, yeah. His best, undodgeable moves can all be interrupted by a punch to the face. His backhand is fairly easy to duck, his double slam always follows a predictable, alternating pattern with a very consistent rhythm. You can combo him after a basic interrupt for a surprisingly long time. <laughs> All of Donkey Kong's flashiness and freeform combo trees are there to hide the fact that he isn't really that great at this whole boxing thing. <laughs> DK is an insulting novelty act, a master of working both you and the crowd, playing off your anxiety at this being Max's last stand, inviting you to make mistake after mistake. But all the instinct and raw power in the world can't beat discipline. <laughs> Fight long enough, and DK will be the one making mistakes, screwing up his own signature role and grinning in embarrassment at the free punishment you're sure to deliver. <laughs> Three stars to the face when he's at his most vulnerable and embarrassed, or one when he's lost his cool and throwing his whole weight behind a slam, and you're guaranteed an instant knockdown on the 800-pound behemoth. <laughs> His health may go down slow, his damage output is high, but your grit has made you one hell of a guy. <gasps> Stay the course, don't panic over mistakes, and look for the openings DK loves to leave, and you'll easily 
take him to the fridge. When it feels good, don't it? After how imposing Mike Tyson was as a final challenge, having Donkey Kong ultimately be less effective than Mr. Sandman might seem a bit underwhelming. But he is the perfect antagonist for this late stage in your career. No one is taking this fight seriously. Doc happy to joke about the fact that you're fighting Donkey Kong, even when Max getting his butt whooped. Listen up, son. You go out there and distract this gorilla. I grab his bananas so I can make me a chocolate sundae. <laughs> the player might even be mystified to see what DK's gonna do next and take some hits in the process. But that just makes it all the more infuriating when you try to take it seriously and find yourself eating the L anyway. And if the fight seems to be jumping the shark from its pro boxing origins, it isn't. Not really. While the real-life WBA might have not put a live gorilla into a boxing match, novelty matches like pitting Larry Holmes against Butterbean 20 years after he lost to Mike Tyson were commonplace. And the fight with DK seems very much in that vein. Donkey Kong isn't a threat in the same way that the pure, reflex-based final challenges of other punch-out games are. He's a test of nerves in an extraordinary circumstance. Heck, some players might not ever even get to him. Lose three times before DK shows up, and you're never gonna trade blows with the ape on that save file, making every fight before him matter that much more if you watched a video on the internet saying he's tucked away as a secret boss in the finale. Donkey Kong is simultaneously a fun reward for staying the course and an unpredictable bruiser glad to wreck your perfect run. And I love him. You know it. This is one of the most enjoyable portrayals of Donkey Kong in any game, playing up his laid-back and fun-loving personality to the max, and giving him a dynamic suite of animations and expressions he hadn't seen since the country days. DK gives me hope that no matter what bosses Punch-Out has in its future, they'll find a way to not just be perfect reflex tests, but live up to the greats in their own way. Because Donkey Kong wasn't just a cute reference or novelty, he rolled right into the ring with the rest of them and introduced a brand new way to design for intimidation. Oh, <laughs> Ah! <laughs>